Hey, Psalms chapter 24, verses 7 through 10 is some fresh, hot truth. It is pretty majestic stuff. There are kings and there are gates and there are battles. And it kind of sounds like something from Lord of the Rings or King Arthur. But actually, it's a little chunky prophetic word about Jesus, the king of a place called glory. In days of yonder, there were fortified cities with big walls. And when kings returned victorious from battle, the gates of the city were opened up and the citizens of the kingdom would welcome him home. There's serious noise, there's a party, there's celebration, there is adoration. And that's where we pick up in, in Psalms chapter 24, verses 7 through 10. And it says this, open up ancient gates, open up ancient doors, and let the King of glory enter. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord invincible in battle. Open up ancient gates, open up ancient doors, and let the King of glory enter. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of heaven's armies. He is the King of glory. All right, and, and just, just picture it. Way back then in medieval days when the king would, would enter and, and they he would come in and, and he they would party and they would open up the gates and they would let him come in and they would let him reign. Now check this out. The gates had to be open from the inside. The gates had to be open to allow the king back in. The king would be out fighting his, his battles, and, and he would be coming back into what is rightfully his kingdom. But the gates had to be open from the inside. They could have shut him out. They could have been like, now's our chance to do whatever we want. Let's, let's leave him out there. Let's, let's do our thing. But they, they would let him in, and they would, would adore him. They would celebrate him, and they would just make him the king. They would let him come in, and they would let him reign. Let the king of glory in, all right? What are the gates in our life? Think about it. Okay, here, here we've got the king, Jesus, the king of glory. And what are the gates in our life? Have we created boundaries? Have we created the walls that kind of keep him out? Have we created boundaries that keep the Holy Spirit from running wild and free in our life? We need to open the gates. We need to, to get rid of the limits. We need to open up the gates, and we need to let the King of Glory in. Whatever it is, if you've got a gate that is keeping God out, open it up. Let him come in. Let him take his rightful place as the king of you. Let him take his rightful place as the king of everything in your life. Let him come in. Let him reign. Let him be the king of glory. Open up the gates. Let the king of glory in. God bless you guys. Giddy up. I love you.